Welcome to Health and Wellness. I'm Dr. Jennifer Ashton. A government panel is updating its guidelines on who should be screened for breast cancer and how often, leaving women under 50 out of the screening demographic. We spoke to medical experts on both sides of this contested issue about what the new guidelines mean for millions of women. These new guidelines are welcome. We finally are catching up to the rest of the world. The data really is not clear that doing mammography screening under 50 makes a major difference in women's lives. And the reason is not because we want to deprive women of their right to be radiated, but because it's not a very good tool in young women. Young women have dense breasts, and it's hard to find a cancer against a dense breast tissue. It's like looking for a polar bear in the snow. Whereas women over 50, after menopause, their breasts become less dense, more fat. It's very easy to see cancers against fat. So it's a great tool in women over 50 and not a very good tool in younger women. The data that was analyzed for this is not really new. They did some additional studies um, applying it to the United States. But this data has been around for a while, and most countries in the world start screening at 50 because the data does not support doing mammography screening in younger women. It doesn't show that it will save lives or change the outcome. And so we've been doing it more because we hope maybe it will than because there was data. We're now, with these recommendations, coming into the same level as everyone else in the world. Okay. We're not saying that women under 50 don't get breast cancer. And we're not saying that some women under 50 have had their cancers found on a mammogram. I'm sure they have. In fact, I know women who have. But what we're saying is, as a general policy for the whole country, it doesn't make sense to be putting our efforts into doing mammography screening in women under 50 when we can find better tools that will help more women and be more accurate. Any woman who's concerned about breast cancer, if she feels something she's worried about, should get it checked out. We'll be back with the opposing viewpoint after a brief word from our sponsor. Our current guidelines recommend that women at average risk of getting breast cancer have screening every year beginning at age 40. We're not going to change our recommendations about how often women should be screened. I mean, the reality is we have made significant gains in reducing deaths from breast cancer over the past 19 or 20 years. And those gains in no small part are based on women starting at age 40 and getting screened every year. The reality is that the benefits of mammography and the task force agrees are pretty much the same in women before the, you know, before the age of 50, starting at age 40, and women older than 50. The difference is the number of lives saved. We have reduced breast cancer deaths in women below the age of 50, that is the 40 to 49 year old age group, over 3% every year for the last 19 years. That means something's working, and we don't think that this new information, the computer modeling data, and the other new study are sufficient to change a program that actually has been working and working well for women in this country. In terms of what women and their doctors and other healthcare professionals are going to do, I don't know that's going to have an immediate impact. Obviously, it's going to get a lot of publicity and people are going to hear the message. I think the really serious problem here is that all this publicity may lead women to come to the conclusion that we experts don't know what we're talking about, so don't get a mammogram at all. That would be the worst possible outcome from this uh, discussion that we're having. This is the beginning of a longer discussion. The second issue is whether or not insurance companies are going to change their rules. Is Medicare going to change its rules? Are Medicaid programs going to change their rules? And what's going to happen as health care reform legislation moves forward? Are they going to say, well, this is the rule we're going to follow as the, the floor, or the basic benefit that we're going to, 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 to cover? We think that would be a mistake. And we certainly hope that insurers, Medicare, other organizations are going to look carefully at all the evidence and, and consider our opinion to be a valid opinion as well. And our opinion remains begin at age 40 and get screened every year. It's important to remember that these new guidelines do not apply to women with a family history of breast cancer. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Health and Wellness. Until next time, wishing you good health. I'm Dr. Jennifer Ashton.